Good morning. We're two days short of Valentine's Day and Storm Kira's blown herself out. So there's a bit of peace and quiet finally in my home village, which is called, now get this, Lover. L-O-V-E-R. Technically pronounced Lover. But at this time of the year, when Valentine is absolutely swinging, we call it Lover. And you'll see that I've got a few hearts and jolly things hung up on my gatepost here. So has everybody else. The whole village is full of love. And uh, you probably wonder why I'm talking about this when I'm supposed to be talking about sailing. But there's more in life, you know. There's more in life than just sailing the seas. This is this is real thing as it's happening. Just up the road here, there used to be a little post office, a village post office in the little cream cottage you can see. And every year, people came from all over the world to post their cards in the Lover Post Office. And the lady who ran it, Linda, she had a little stamp with a cupid on it and she used to stamp that posted in the village of Lover. And well, people even came from Japan. You couldn't believe it. The whole street here was full of cars. There's cars coming past now. It's people wanting to post their Valentine cards here, but the post office is shut. And for years, nothing happened at all, but not anymore. It's all changed now. And I'm gonna show you what the villagers have done. Well, here we are, just 50 yards down the road from my house, and I'm standing outside what was, for 100 years or more, Lover Primary School. It was shut down about 10 or 15 years ago by a caring government, and now it's ours. It lay fallow for quite a long time. Nobody knew what was going to happen to it, and in the end, the village got together and decided that we ought to make a community facility out of it. So we had a big whip round, and we bought the school. And here it is. And now, every year, we put in this pop-up post office at the beginning of February so that we can organise Valentine cards for the whole world. We're going to go inside now and have a look at some of the girls and boys at work. There's a cafe in here and all sorts of stuff going on. It's uh, heartwarming, really. the Loma Cupids doing their stuff. Nobody licks a stamp like these girls, I can tell you. And uh, they're going to give you a big smile now. Come on, ladies, give us a wave. <laughs> well done. So cards are going out from here to absolutely everywhere. Roz is sitting in the corner. For once, she's not behind the camera, and we'll have a little shot of her in a minute. Amazingly, is a unique picture of my good wife, Roz, who never appears on any of these because she's always behind the blooming... She's always the wrong side of the camera, but she's the right side of it today. So that is that. That's the work. Do my best. Look at that. Right, well, Jane's pouring me a cup of tea now. I'm going to drink this and eat my cake and then when I've done that I'm going back to work but I just wanted to do this because I wanted to bring you a bit of sunshine in the depth of dark winter from the south of England wherever you are there's nothing like it <laughs> 